We're having trouble agreeing on something here at the CMS HQ. You see, I think it's called tinfoil. Chad also thinks it's called tinfoil. Mind you, he is my husband. But Lucas, he happens to think it's called aluminum foil or aluminum foil. Whatever you decide to call it, one thing we can agree on is that it's got a lot of amazing household uses. So today, I'm going to show you all kinds of great household hacks that you can accomplish using tin foil or aluminum foil. Quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel to get all kinds of great cleaning videos each and every week. If you don't like using dryer sheets and you don't like static cling, let's be honest, who does? A quick hack is to simply ball up some tin foil and throw that in the dryer in place of dryer balls or dryer sheets. This will help beat out static cling and will help improve the drying process. Take tin foil and ball it up. You want the ball to be just smaller than the size of your fist. Throw a couple of those into the dryer and use them instead of dryer balls or dryer sheets. They won't harm your dryer and they will work incredibly well. Here's one of my tried, tested, and true dryer balls. You can see I've been using this one for a while. Either way, I like this hack a lot and I think you should give it a try. Let's say you wanna make one of our awesome DIY cleaning recipes, but you don't have a funnel. Rather than funneling your frustration into getting a lot of stuff into a little opening, you can just make your own funnel using a little bit of tin foil. Take a piece of tin foil and fold it in half. Then you wanna find something to use for a mold for your spout. I'm going to use a long wooden stirring spoon. Then you want to create a good seal by crimping the tin foil down at the bottom. Finally, you want to finish off by forming a funnel shape at the top. So you really want to work it around and create a cone. It ain't going to look pretty, but I promise you it'll work. It might take you a few attempts to get it perfect like it did for us. At least you can use all of the trial ones to create a nice tin foil bouquet. If you have scissors that just aren't cutting it anymore, you can quickly sharpen them in a rather effective way using nothing more than tin foil. All you need to do is take a sheet of tin foil, fold it up several times, you want to challenge your scissors a little bit, and then simply snip that piece of tin foil several times. This action will help sharpen the blades. And then you can get back to the important business of cutting. Sizzling bacon, what a sensual experience. Not only does it sound amazing, it smells amazing. However, once the bacon has been taken out of the pan, you've gotta deal with that bacon grease. And obviously you can't dump it down the sink, you don't wanna cause any clogs, and you don't wanna put it in a plastic container, and let's say you don't have a tin container to put it in, you can use tin foil to quickly and effectively store that hot grease. Take a piece of tin foil and line a bowl with it. Then carefully pour the grease into that lined bowl. Set it aside or put it in the fridge and let it congeal. At that point, you can decide if you're using that bacon grease for Brussels sprouts or if you wanna throw it in the garbage. Well, I am glad we've solved that greasy conundrum and let's get on with the video because frankly, the entire house smells like bacon and we all wanna eat lunch around here. Since we're now left with a pretty dirty frying pan, let me show you a quick tin foil hack that will act as a pot and pan scrubber. Warning here, you can only use this little hack on a pot or pan where you could otherwise use a metal scrubby. Grab a piece of tin foil, either one that you've just used to cook with, there's a great way to upcycle, or a brand new one. Crumple it up into a ball, add a little bit of dish soap and water to your pot or pan, and start scrubbing. You'll see all of that stuff starts to lift off. You might love this so much, you never want to buy another metal scrubby again. Resident pot washers take note. This trick actually worked incredibly well. It certainly exceeded my expectations, so I hope you give it a try. Many things in our house run on AA batteries. The issue is because so many things rely on them, we happen to run out of them a lot quicker than we would say triple A batteries. There is a cool little hack that you can do involving nothing more than a triple A battery and a little bit of tin foil to turn this into a double A battery when you're in a pinch. Crumple up a small piece of tin foil and place it over one of the ends of your triple A battery. Then just pop it in like you normally would, your double A battery, close up your item and use it as you normally would. This is a great band-aid solution that'll help you out when you're in a pinch. Well, no matter what you call it, we've found out that 
tin foil, that's what I'm calling it, has lots of household uses that extend far beyond baking something in the kitchen. This week's comment question has to do with our end of year Q&A video. That's right, every year Chad and I put together a Q&A where we both sit down and answer your questions, whether they have to do with cleaning, YouTube, videos, business, cats, personal stuff, but nothing too racy. So please leave us your Q&A cues down below and we'll see if your question gets answered in the upcoming video. If you wanna see what I'm up to during the week that doesn't involve cleaning, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I'm at Melissa Maker. The guy who ate copious amounts of bacon, he is at the Chad Reynolds and we are at Clean My Space. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. It's that special time of the week where I get to throw you to two other videos I think you're going to love. And because you seem to be interested in hacks, I have a couple of hack videos I want you to check out. The first one is the first set of five cleaning hacks that we came up with. Trust me, they're ingenious. And because that video did so well, we came up with the second hack video that I also want you to check out. You are gonna be cleaning so much faster and so much better by virtue of the fact that you check out those two videos. Remember, you can also visit us on our website. It's cleanmyspace.com. We've got links for it down below. Make sure you check it out to get all the latest and greatest in cleaning news. And you can also sign up for our newsletter, The Dirty Dish. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll see you next week.